Hey guys, I am Vish and today we will be adding custom transitions to our activities. So first let's see how the default transition looks like. Now since this is in API level 19, uh, it has changed since then so it's a little different right now. So if I click on second activity, this is the way the second activity pops up. It just zooms in. So now let's, I'll just create a behavior so that when I click on this, the code city icon, the second activity will open with our custom transition. Now this is the default one. We will change this transition to any custom transition we want. All right, so let's get started. Now you can see I have this activity and this uh, second activity. So I'll add custom transition when I click on this image view. Let's just add a you know, new on-click listener. And now the method is, it's called on override pending transitions. So I'll just talk about it in a minute. All right, so now if I run this app, the second activity will open again with the default transition. Now what we need to do is we need a method called override pending transition. And then, as you can see, it's uh, the parameters are enter animation and exit animation. The enter animation is the animation that will be shown when a new activity is loaded, and the exit is how the current activity will exit. So right now, you know, we need to create animations because I have not created any animation file. But Android is pretty good, so it provides default animations. So if you are not looking for anything crazy, you can just do android.r.anim dot slide slide in left fade in fade out and slide out right so let's check uh, slide in left as the enter animation and slide out right as the exit animation so now this was the app that I previously run so if I click on this logo it again opens the second activity with the default transition. Now this is Vimworks Lab is the company that I'm working for right now. So now I'll run this again. I'm listening to God's Plan by Drake in case you're wondering. All right. Now this is, let's check this again. So this is the default transition and now this is the transition that we defined great so now this is sliding in from the left and let's try one more let's try the default fade in and fade out animations fade out is the exit and fade in is the enter animation okay let it run So now, yeah, as you can see, this is the fade in and fade out animation. It's pretty nice. So now you can just do this with one line of code and yeah, just one line of code. You all, you can use these default animations that Android provides. Or if you want something else, let's say you want to slide in from right and you want to slide out from left. So for that, you'll have to create your own animations. I'll show you how to do that. Now you need to go to your resources folder, right click on that, create a new Android resource directory, select anim from the resource type. Now right click on it and let's create a new animation resource file and since we will be sliding in from right and sliding out from left, let's just create a file called it slide in from right. Alright. Now since we are sliding, you know, we are changing the X coordinate, so that is the translate animation. Now, uh, since this is sliding in, we will slide from uh, the left, S uh, sorry, right, we will slide sliding from right. Now, by default, the second activity will not be visible. So, what we will be doing is we will be sliding in from 100p. Now, this p the, is like percent, so you need to define. Uh, you need to define percentage. So we'll be sliding in from 100% of 
hundred percent outside the screen, so it's not visible. So it starts from hundred percent of the screen. So that is the right edge. Now and two to x delta zero zero is the left left end of uh, the screen. So I hope you get it. The zero is the left one, and hundred p is uh, the completely the complete right of the screen. So yeah if you don't get it just drop a comment below so we will be translating from x delta 100 percent of the screen to x delta zero now we will add a duration so just type android and duration duration is how long will it take to sh show this transition show this animation so let's just say 500 milliseconds now this is in milliseconds so 500 means uh, 0.5 seconds and now let's just create another animation and we will call it slide out from right now since this is for our activity that is currently visible it's x delta since it's currently visible it's x delta will be zero its initial x will be on the top right of the screen and it will be we will move it to minus 100 of screen that is it will go to the left this is the positive side and this is the negative side so it will go to the left and duration again let's uh, give it the duration of 500 milliseconds also now we have our two animations defined let's go to our main activity this is the what was it it was the enter animation so slide in from no not this one we have our own animation defined now notice we don't need to use this anymore because we have just defined our own animation so we will write slide in from right remove this android thing and slide out from I just named it the same thing this is slide out from left to rename it just press shift and F6 together slide out left it's refactored so this is changed here also if you do rename using shift plus F6 that's refactored alright now run this thing again okay so this is pretty simple now you can define any animation that you want here slide translations and all sorts of active animations and you can just use it using this override pending transition pretty simple now let's see if this works now this is the default one yeah now this is a weird behavior I didn't expect this anyway this is it our animations have changed oh now this is going up because it's not going to this it's going up because we mistakenly defined this y delta so it's going up now just let's change to sorry this is from x delta and 2x delta and run this again and this is pretty cool so you can see it's like any animation you define let this run all right yeah it's, this is cool so it's like a view page or it's just sliding this is the default one and this is the sliding one so this is it now you can define your custom animations and use it in override printing transition method after you start the activity and you are done so this is good this is it guys if this helped you give me a thumbs up maybe share and hit subscribe button till next time peace out